from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Mining and quarrying equipment company Pilot Crashtech has introduced a range of mobile and compact equipment into the market, which will help it to diversify its customer base and meet requirements for small and medium-sized operations. Skulkberger has a story. Pilot Crush Tech and Mezzo held an event for clients and prospective clients in February, where the new range of equipment was displayed. The equipment was designed by Canadian mobile crushing equipment company McCloskey Equipment and integrated into the Mezzo range after its acquisition of the company. The new equipment is intended to broaden the range of applications Mezzo's equipment can address, from hard rock processing to softer aggregates and recycling applications. Pilot Crush Tech Sales and Marketing Director, François Marais, provides an overview of the equipment and its role in Pilot Crush Tech's strategy to serve the local mining and quarrying market demands. When we had a look at the 19 products that they were proposing to introduce to the market, we really looked at the positions where uh, either we had customers that we weren't able to go and assist, uh, so the Locotrack premium range of products uh, isn't always the most uh, accessible range. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's really the ultimate, the absolute premier range, and it's not necessarily suitable for every single contractor or mining application or aggregates uh, producer. So what this does is it gave us an opportunity to go and engage with guys that we hadn't previously done. And that's really how we started to unpack what the, the range had and what would be appropriate for our environment. Um, in one or two cases, we have some products that compete directly with the existing Locotrack product. But because the, there's different efficiencies from a manufacturing perspective, it means that it puts it into a whole different costing bracket, which allows us access to a much broader audience um, who probably would have wanted to engage with Metso and their premium products, but it might not be appropriate for them at the stage of their business or their, their manufacturing or replacement life cycles. And this started to kind of give us an opportunity to now open that uh, portfolio of customers that we could engage with a hell of a lot wider. Um, and uh, we were very happy with the results that we started to see. So we, we decided to introduce two of the mobile jaws. Uh, one would be a, a very compact jaw, a, a small uh, jaw called the J90. And traditionally, Meta actually didn't really have a competitor within that environment. It's just too small for them. It, it wasn't necessarily a part of what their priority was. So we've got that now in the range, and we can go and engage with small recycling, demolition, um, contractors, guys who are kind of uh, doing those kind of jobs, we, it gives us an opportunity to go and discuss with them. We've got a team of dedicated uh, engineers that is solely focused on territories outside of South Africa. Uh, we also have a full service uh, aftermarket team and we, um, we service parts and our service technicians are um, going into these territories on a weekly basis. So we deal our distribution agreement with Metos all the way up into um, southern Congo. Um, so we literally look after the entire southern African portion of, of their territory and we go and we travel into those areas regularly. We know the operators, we've dealt with them for many, many years. We're familiar with the challenges in their environments, in their countries, uh, import and export. We know it extremely well and we've done it for many, many years. Metso Nord Track Director Vesa Tulusela gives an overview of the customer needs and market segments the machines can fulfill. Metso is well known for the hard rock crushers, whether it's jaw crushers, bone crushers, but it's all about 100 years of experience with, uh, with the hardest rock applications that we will, we will perform. Now, for the last uh, years, we can even say decades, there's been a growing uh, interest on the smaller size applications as well, the recycling and demolition, where Metso hasn't had the correct offering in place. But uh, now, thanks to the new addition, with the synergies from the, from the company acquisition, we are happy to announce this uh, new product range that we can definitely fulfill fulfill this, kind of, this customer segment. The J90, it reflects maybe the best about this new approach on this. So it, it's a, such a compact unit, only 24 tons. It's easy to transport between the sites, on site. The fuel consumption is low, thanks to the Volvo engine. And uh, we look great future, thanks to the new unit. The production is 250 to 200 tons per hour applications, which a mezzo basically we don't have today as small uh, chalk crusher in our existing portfolio, so it fulfills it definitely. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.